Waking up this early is not a joke. Being honest, it actually kind of sucks. But as with everything you do in life, everything has its pros and its cons. The pros being you get more productive hours every single day, and the cons being that you basically give up on your nightlife. Hi guys, welcome back to Coffee Show. And today I will take you through my morning routine and give you a few tips and tricks I have learned over the past three years of waking up at 4:30 a.m. First off, I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Waking up this early does not mean that you sleep less. It means you sleep early. So if you think you're going to be sleeping at 11:30, 12 o'clock at night, and still waking up at 4:30, best of luck. For the rest of y'all, here are some tips that will really help you achieve this. Right off, the single most important thing you can do to actually achieve this goal and do it well is to improve the quality of your sleep. Getting high quality sleep means that you go through all the cycles, the sleep, the deep sleep cycles that you need to go through and wake up well rested. Now, to achieve this, there are four things you have to do. First, no caffeine after 3 p.m. No screens one hour before you go to sleep. Make sure when you actually go to sleep that your room is pitch black. And fourth, which is optional but highly, highly recommended, sleep naked. If you want to understand how these four things help you, I've already made a video on that. You can go check that out. But doing this for 15 to 20 days will make sure that in the same amount of time that you sleep, your sleep will be much deeper and you will rest better. However, waking up this early has its own challenges. Here's how you can tackle them. Develop a quick morning routine. This includes sleeping and waking up at the same time, followed by a quick small routine that you can do as soon as you wake up. An example of my morning routine is to wake up, click a photo of my watch for Instagram, have a sip of water, use the washroom, brush my teeth, make my bed and then finally sit down with my coffee and my fruits. Making my bed is a recent addition but other than that this has been my morning routine since the past two years or so. Now most of these are rather obvious like yes I will wake up and use the washroom but following a particular routine forms a pattern in your mind which your mind will start to recognize and then eventually as soon as you wake up your mind knows yes this is about to happen let's wake up. Now your morning routine can be anything you like other than looking at a screen the first thing in the morning but yes other than that anything you like. So get creative over here but remember your goal is not to wake up and be productive so don't make your life harder than it already is. You don't have to wake up exercise, meditate, do this, do that. No, wake up and keep the main thing, the main thing. And before my next point, how about subscribing to Coffee Show? It's free and that's a great price. Third, use tools to help wake you up. I use my phone, my AC and the light as my tools. On my phone, I have an app called Alami, which makes me shake my phone or solve a math problem to switch off the alarm. My AC switches off a few hours before I wake up so that the room starts to get warmer and my light, my smart light, switches on along with the alarm. These three things make sure I wake up as comfortably as I can and honestly the light is a game changer like it's not that expensive either so that's definitely recommended. These are the tools I have been using since the past few years but yes even after that some days it's just impossible to wake up for which I have my backup tool. My phone. So yes, when all else fails, look at your phone, open an app and start scrolling. Yes, I know it's a terrible thing to do the second you open your eyes, but it works and it really, really works well. On the particularly difficult days, I open YouTube, just open any video and watch the first 30 seconds and I'm wide awake. So as a last straw, definitely use a screen. Next, accountability. So in my morning routine, I said I take a photo of my watch when I wake up. That was inspired by Joho Willink, a US Navy SEAL. And the idea was that I will take a photo of my watch and post it as my Instagram story every morning. And my, I'll, be accountable, I'll be accountable to my followers. Now this tip works and it really, really works. Even after doing everything you can, the first month or two is really going to be uncomfortable and it's actually just going to suck. Being accountable to someone makes that pain worth it. The pain is not going to go down, but the pain is going to be worth it. So for the first month, the hardest month, make sure you're accountable to someone who will actually hold you accountable and this will really make the suck worth it. And the suck brings me to my final point. It sucks. Even after following everything I told you and even making the suck worth it, it is still going to suck and the first month is going to be the worst, second a little better and eventually it will become your new normal. All you have to do is keep the main thing the main thing and survive the first month. After that the results will start to compound and everything will just fall into place. I have been waking up at 4.30 since 3 years now and 
it is worth it you you do have to give up a lot but in return you do get something that is much much more valuable something that cannot be bought wake up early and find out yourself and if you learn something valuable today go ahead and subscribe to my channel and i promise i will keep making videos like these i'm kafi shubh and i'll see you again very soon